What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Chase Visions channel. It's great to have you as always. Today, I have a video for you all, and I'm going to be doing a video around the Minolta MN uh, 35Z. So, as you all know, prior to my other videos, um, I purchased um, the MN 35Z Minolta because it's going to be uh, basically the camera that I'm gonna use when I do my YouTube videos moving forward. And what's really cool is that this particular camera allows you to connect to your uh, mobile devices. So if you have a iPad, if you have a tablet, iPhone, if you have um, an Android phone, um, you know, they have apps specifically for this camera. And you can actually uh, take pictures and um, the pictures that's on the on the app, you can go ahead and download it to your uh, phone, which is really dope. So the app is called Links One Two Three Plus, and I'm going to show you all how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is go to the App Store. The app is called Link One Two Three Plus. Now there is another uh, app, it's called Link123, um, but the best thing to use is the Link123 Plus. And you're gonna go ahead and install. All right, so as we can see, the app has been downloaded and installed, so we're gonna go ahead and open it. So it's asking for this app to make and manage phone calls um, unfortunately, when I denied it and um, denied the location, this app would not work. So you have to just go ahead and allow it. But I mean, it's really not making phone calls or anything like that. Um, so allow this app to access your photo, media, and files on your device. You can go ahead and do that. And then again, the location. So this is where it gets tricky and quite annoying. And sometimes you have to repeat this step. Um, and this is why, unfortunately, this app um, has a two star rating, but this is the only app that allows you to connect. And so um, you can read it. It says this app uses Bluetooth to enable your uh, camera's Wi-Fi connection. Once your camera Wi-Fi is enabled, Go to your smartphone Wi-Fi setting and select your camera. Power your um, camera on before pressing OK to continue. So we're going to go ahead and check out the camera here. So I'm going to cut it on. And then there is like this Wi-Fi button um, right there, but you really honestly don't need it. I'm not sure why they did that, but you don't. So we went ahead and we connected the, uh, we turned on the camera. So now we're gonna go ahead and press okay. Enable cameras Wi-Fi first after connecting your smartphone to your camera Wi-Fi. Select OK. So here you on the left it says OK Enter App. The middle says Cancel. And then to the right it says Enable cameras Wi-Fi. So what you want to do is press Enable cameras Wi-Fi. Then you will see Minota with all those letter and numbers, plus unknown devices. So go ahead and click on Minolta. So then it says your camera Wi-Fi has been enabled. Exit the app and go to your smartphone Wi-Fi setting. Select your smartphone or select your camera from the list of available Wi-Fi hotspots to connect to your camera. And then once you connect, uh, once you're connected to your camera, open the app again and select okay, and then enter app. 
So we can go ahead and press OK. Move this camera to the side. And then what you need to do now is go to um, your camera, go to your settings. And you're gonna go to Wi-Fi. And then you see Minolta with all the letters and numbers. Click on that. Then there's the password. So the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. So give me a minute while I mess up a bit. Then connect. And then it says it's connected. Now, when I tried to do this on my um, on my iPhone 11 Pro, it would not connect for something for some reason. And so what I did was um, I just cut the camera off and then I cut it back on and then it ended up connecting. So that's connected. And then if you look here, it says uh, waiting for the mobile phone connection. So the next thing you need to do is get out of here then go to links one two three plus and then uh press ok now it says searching and then it says connecting and then as you can see um, it's connected and i'm moving the camera around and all that and as you can see on here, this is what the camera is showing and it's showing exactly what needs to be shown. So on here, you have um, different things you can do. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out, just like on the camera. You can take a picture. And I'm gonna show you what the camera does. You can take a video on there. You can go to settings and um, you can change the brightness, the white balance, you can go to settings, change the flash, change the self timer, focus, quality, ISO, maximum ISO auto, uh, metering, autofocus, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Movie mode. You can also sync save, and then network, it's just Wi-Fi, and you go back to the camera. Now, just like I said, you're supposed to uh, be able to save, right? So on here it says camera gallery, and then to the right, and you have this save button. And then you can, let's say if these, these are just all the photos. I just took random photos. So you just go to all, or you can pick and choose which ones that you want to do. Um, and then you just download. It says download complete. Press OK. And then once you go to gallery, um, you have your photos, so I guess I only chose one, which, yeah, I only chose one. Let's see. So I choose all of them. Now it's going to start to download all of them.
But yeah, this is really cool. Like I said, I only paid uh, $300 for this camera. You can really get them for like $200, $250. And um, compared to the other YouTube cameras, I consider this camera to be like an entry-level camera or amateur camera for beginners. But I just feel like this really helps when it comes to um, YouTube because... You can you can use your phone to uh, to take pictures. So that's the dope part. Like you can just move about. Um, so yeah. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope that um, I was very clear and understanding. If you like this video, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please share, please share on your Facebook, all of your social media uh, to help people. And then, like I said, you can go ahead and get this camera. They're real cheap. To be honest with you, these cameras are getting ready to go out of, um, well, they're technically already out of business, but somehow um, Minolta ended up producing more to sell. But... I mean, they're going to really, really eventually get rid of them. So go ahead and copy one. I think it's a good investment uh, for YouTube and other things. All right. Y'all have a good one. Stay blessed.